Yo yo, TJ here. We thought we'd make a guide for all the weapons in Monster Hunter Rise to help you guys get a better understanding of how each one works. These guides are aimed to be more beginner friendly rather than anything too advanced. Although, if you're looking for a refresher on a weapon, you're more than welcome. And with that, let's get right into it. In this video, I'll be covering the hammer, known as the KO King. The hammer is a mobile weapon that hits hard and specializes in knocking out monsters to dish out massive damage. To start, we'll look at some of the basic combos. The X combo starts with this overhead smash. Pressing it again gives you a second one, and following it up for a third time will give you this upswing. Pressing A will give you a quick side smash. From here, you can press X to go into the overhead smash 2 for the upswing combo or you can keep pressing the A button to perform the Big Bang combo. Next is the most important part. If you press ZR, you can charge the hammer. During this time, you're able to walk around while charging. This also consumes stamina. There are three levels to the charge attacks. The first level gives you this charged follow-up. Level two gives you a charged upswing. Both of these can be comboed right back into your normal combos. And the level 3 gives you a charged big bang. The level 3 also has an alternate variant if you use it while you're moving. That being the spinning bludgeon. The spinning bludgeon has three finishers to it. One, if you hit the X button before the fourth swing. Pressing X after the fourth swing will give you a strong upswing and not pressing the X button at all will give you a spinning upswing. If you press the A button while charging, you're able to change the mode to strength mode. This mode will change the different charge attacks that you have at your disposal. At level 1, you get a charged side blow. Pressing X after this one gives you a power swing instead though. Level 2 gives you the charged brutal upswing. And level 3 gives you the brutal big bang. Like in normal mode, while moving you also have an option as well. That gives you the step smash. You're able to disengage back to normal mode by pressing charge plus A as well. Doing this though starts you at level 3. It's also important to keep in mind that if you dodge while you charge, it resets the charge level. This can be really helpful if you want to disengage your charge and not use the attack. Or, if you need to get out of the way, it's good to know that you're back down to level 1. The hammer's primary objective is to hit monster's head, as this weapon does a lot of stun damage. It's good to use the charge when moving around the monster to help fill the time walking preparing for your next hit. The level 1 and 2 charge are good for helping close the distance if you're just out of range. The second charge is also good because it has good vertical range, being helpful to hit ahead if it's too high up. And when you get those knockouts, make the most of them, getting in a good combo hit or doing the big bang attack while the enemy is down. With that, thank you all for watching, and make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Monster Hunter Rise, including more weapon tutorials. Check out the video on the right for more content you might be interested in. Until next time, bye!